This all started for, from a dream from back five, six years ago, or even maybe sooner. We knew we had a lot of work to do, but we didn't totally know the extent of it because everything was covered over in brush and dirt and foliage. And to be four and a half years into this and now to finally be able to open our doors to the public and um, show what uh, this place is really made of is going to be super, super exciting. This is like the ground zero of bourbon history for us, really. Uh, in 1887, Colonel Taylor came with his two sons and built this iconic castle, built a sunken garden, built a spring house and, um, and the whole infrastructure. Uh, and he was the really the, the visionary for what is now bourbon tourism. And uh, so we're trying to honor that legacy here. We will offer experiences on the hour. Uh, we're open Wednesday through Sunday, um, and we'll do that through the end of this year. So it'll be an hour and 45 minute sort of uh, travel through time uh, from when this place was originally built to what we've done to it over the last four and a half years. And then you'll finish up in our tasting room here where you'll taste uh, our gin uh, and our vodka, which we make both here on site. You know, we, we've had it on the shelves now for a few months and, and a few people have been able to get in and try it and, and you know, going into a bar and, and get a drink with Castle and Key Gin and Vodka. But now people are really going to have the opportunity to, to see where it's made, to smell the fermentations, to get a little um, whiff of the, the white dog that goes into the gin and the vodka. Let it's me tell you how difficult her job is. How is it? Tell us. Well, like tell in the us. warehouse, right? She's got all these multiple barrels that are sitting there. Yes. And like what she said, one barrel may taste completely different because it's setting in that because of temperature. Right, I think we're finished with you. Lee's kind of got this covered. <laughs> well, I gotta, yeah, oh, I think. I'm telling you how good she is. <laughs> and somehow she's got to find a way to make it consistent. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You saw how big the warehouse is. Uh, am I in trouble? Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> My God, you're a handsome man. <laughs> Wow. The thing to know about our gin, it was made by a bourbon master distiller, so it's it's a, a flavor that appeals to a Kentuckian's palate, but it's still good for gin drinkers too. It's We call it a London dry, but it's more of a true botanical gin. It's not, like I said, not too juniper forward. Yeah. We've uh, balanced it with some other interesting spicy, earthy, and, and sweet and floral notes as well. She hates it. Am I breaking the song? This building that we're in right now was the original nerve center, energy center for the whole 113 acre compound. And it produced all of the steam energy through four great big boilers. So when we came in here, the four boilers were still here, but two of those were just sitting on the ground. They had completely collapsed. Mm -hmm. So we took those out and made space for this retail area. And we kept these other two boilers over here as sort of monuments of history. And uh, so we've kept them in their condition as we found them. So the interesting part of the spring house is that was constructed by Colonel Taylor when he did the original distillery. And uh, he encapsulated an underground spring from the property. And uh, that was the source for his bourbon production and still is today for us. And he built it in the shape of a, a key. And so that is how we got the name Castle and Key. We have the castle in the front and then the, and the key, uh, which Colonel Taylor said was the key to the good bourbon. Cheers. Refreshing. To Natalie Portman. You can make vodka from anything that you can ferment. So milk, uh, potatoes, grapes, oranges, grains, anything, yeah. It's like she knows what she's doing or something. <laughs> what? We are super excited about what we're creating and the experience that we have here. And, and one thing that people always say is that the, the pictures just don't do it justice. So you might be blown away by what you see on Lee and Haley, but you have to come out to really, truly experience it.